Yes, good day, X Yards friends. We're here uh, just north of Copenhagen and uh, we've got Caroline, uh, actually a first timer on board of an X Yard. She has a boat herself, but this is the first time that she's on board of an X Yard. And we want to learn her a couple of tricks. And the same tricks you can adapt for yourself as well in the near future when you're sailing on your boat. We want to reef the mainsail now because uh, as you can see, there's a black cloud coming over there. So we always want to be one step ahead. So what we do first is over trim the jib. When we over trim the jib, we actually help depowering the mainsail. So that's what we're doing right now. Just a couple of clicks on. Then I ease the main sheet, make sure that the vang is off as well. And that I don't know because I checked that before. So now I ease the main sheet and then Jesper can ease the main halyard. Let's come a little bit to the left. Ready? Yes. We have to go one more meter here till we are sure that the baton is underneath the mandrel. Yeah. Yep, and okay, and once we're done, I can start throwing the main sheet on. So that was really easy, you do it in 30 seconds. So now we've seen that the breeze has been dropping, so you actually want to have more power. And of course, one thing to get more power is to take the reef out. So that's what we're going to do. But we have to keep still certain steps. Again, over trim the jib a little bit when we are uh, on a reach like this, because having the jib over trimmed actually deloads the, the mainsail. So that's what Jesper is doing right now. And then, of course, make sure that the vang is off and that we ease the main sheet because then, yes, we can ease the, the mandrel off and start hoisting the main. Yeah. Okay, so before Jesper starts hoisting, I have to make sure that the main sheet is off, that it's well eased. Okay, stand by for hoisting and now we can start hoisting. Two, one, and stop. And as soon the main is on, then I can start sheeting the main. Sheet on. Just in general, what, what we don't have on this boat, we don't have marks. If you mark the halyard, then we really know yeah. where we are with each position. So we can do that for each reef position, and of course as well for the full hoist. Especially in night time when you don't have yeah. good vision, you just have a small torch, you mark your halyards and you know where you are. So what is really important, you probably have heard that, it, it's, it's always a matter of planning as well. Like hey, you do a maneuver, you make dedication to which person is doing what, and then you being the skipper, gave clear commands, ready for a furl, ready for a drop, ready for a tech, so that people actually know what's going on. So just keep communicating with your crew because that's where the mistakes very often happen. The people don't know what they have, what they have to do. And of course, if you speak it through, we have time. It's a cruising boat, so you have time. So if it takes five minutes longer, as long as you don't make mistakes, you can still give yourself a tap on the shoulder we did it nicely. So communicate with your people and talk the plan through.